What is going on guys? Sasha here from Sasha Tech and today we are going to be building a PC. I already built some of the PC in part 1 so if you haven't watched part 1 yet go watch it. I'll put a link to that in the description below to come back to this and watch the rest of it because yeah and um let's get into it. Now the motherboard is installed, so now it's time to move on to our next step, which I believe is the power supply. So let's get the power supply in. Okay, so um, to get the power supply in, we have a power supply shroud or whatever that's called. It's this thing right here. So. To access it, you have to access it from the back. So we shall turn our case around. Use our screwdriver and remove the screws at the back of the case. Okay, and now that should just slide off somehow. There we go. Well, that's a lot of cables. Um, let's move the thing away. Cable management puck. That's important, I guess. Um, you have all your other cables from the top with all the stuff. We have to connect those later. And I like how it has cable management things. <laughs> I don't know what they're called actually. Um, so now to install our power supply, let's turn this around and open the power supply place. Okay, so now let's open up the power supply box by removing the tape with our knife and then open that up and Wipe the sweat out of your face because it's so hot right now. Oh, that's just because I'm here. Sorry. Sorry for taking away your brain cells. Take that out. All your... That's a lot of cables. Most of your cables come with that for power. Remove the... Manual and stuff. And here is our power supply, so open that up with your scissors. With the yeah, use your scissors to open that up. And here we have our power supply. And we don't need this anymore. So we'll slide this into the case over here. Okay, so to put our power supply in, we have to remove the thumb screws here without our thumbs because they tightened them way too much so let's remove those okay so you just want to loosen these as far as they'll get loosened and keep loosening them until they're done being loosened There we go. And now this shield thing is out. Remove this zip tie or no, it's not even a zip tie, it's something. Um and then take our power supply and since this has a slide out fan filter tray at the bottom, which supposedly slides out like that we can mount our thing with the um, fan facing the ground because air will be intaked properly. Now that that is out and this is out, we shall take the screws that came with our power supply and, well, 
take the screws out first which comes in another bag so take those out and now we have our four screws right here so put the screws in however the screws go in by screwing them in so take this screw okay so put that in first so there's one screw and then take your screwdriver and drive them in because that's what screwdrivers are for so now we are ready to slide it in to our case like so I hope I didn't break too many things and now we just want to screw all of these back in and there we go that is our power supply installed finally and last but not least we need to install our storage into one of these SSD mounts so let's get into that so now you want to remove your SSD from the packaging like so okay so now it's time to put our SSD inside of the SSD tray so to do so we can simply open take out the thumbs thumb thumb Take out the thumb screw, put that aside, put the screwdriver aside too, and take out the cage. Pretty easy enough so far. So now we take the SSD, do that, so that we can start mounting it. Now some cages will have the screw points on the side, like so, but in our case, Several bad puns later. Sorry, I had to make that joke again. Um, but in our case, the screws are over here. So now, so there, they are the M3 times five flat screws. Um, you know, just just kind of figure it out by looking at whatever screws are included with your case. And so now those screws are ready. Just kind of put them in with your finger sorry I have to do this in front of the camera so that's why so yeah just put one in with your finger put the other one in your in with your finger and then just screw it in make sure that all your Screws are tightened, and then just put it back like how you found it in the first place, like so, and just wiggle it in until it's in place. And then take that same thumb screw from before and just re, just put it straight back in. And then screwdriver <clears throat> and there we go we only have one more step actually two more steps until that's we are done and that is to wire everything up plug everything into the motherboard and power supply and then we have to install our OS and that's all we have to do so we'll start by connecting power to the motherboard okay so now we only have two more steps that's wiring everything up and step number two is just what's it called installing the os so we'll wire everything up and then we'll install the os second so let's get into that 
Okay, so here's the mother, I mean the power supply. So we need to give power to a couple of things. That is our motherboard using this 24 pin cable. So we'll plug one end of that into our power supply like so there we go that's that's good so now the second cable we have to plug in is our cpu cable so plug that in to the cpu cable place and last but not least is our hard drive which i believe is sata so we need to find one of those cables take out one of your sata cables so now take this end and plug it into the setup port all the way back there. There we go. And now it's time to plug in these cables into the their respective cable place. Okay, so now from our power supply, let's plug in the power supply cable into the motherboard. 24 pin connector like so and then over here we have our CPU fan which needs to plug be plugged into the CPU fan thing put on the top one because it says so there we go plug the white one into the white one so now that the CPU fan is good um, we probably want to plug in our CPU power so get that cable from the back there we go oh, I should have rather this to the top let's see now that it comes out through the top and let's just plug this into the top like so all right, now that we got our CPU um, connectors connected and our fan connected, it is time for us to move on to our SSD. Connect up the SSD. So um, let's find the hard drive cable first. Here we go. And we'll probably route it up through here to the underbelly of this. And you probably want to do this before installing the SSD, but just plug it in. Okay, there we go. That's connected. Let me get my screwdriver again. And then you just want to plug in your SSD and pop that down and the next things we have to plug in are all of our case cables all of the cables that came with our case so let's plug those in now into the motherboard starting with our okay let's just start with all the tiny little cables first those really annoying ones apparently so here they are and feed them through here oh no nope. feed them through whichever hole feels proper that's weird okay um okay so we have to plug in our front panel connectors and to do so, you basically just connect positive to positive and negative to negative on, say, the ACD LED. If you want to know which one is actually positive or negative, the one, the marking, such as the plus or the arrow, is the positive. So you connect positive to positive. So let's do that. So if the right side is positive, and on the AC, the left side, so we turn it upside down, 
and we connect it like so there we go now we have positive LED and negative LED so we look for those and then we connect positive to the positive pin and negative to the negative pin like so and the last but not least is the power switch and without it you wouldn't be able to switch it on and off so it's kind of important getting positive to positive negative to negative like so and that is our front panel connectors now for the rest of our front panel connectors in this case we have a uh, case several bad puns later we have two um we have USB 2.0, HD audio, USB 3.1, and an HDMI. Okay, um, so let's take the USB 2.0 through the back, and turns out the USB 2.0 header is located right here right here so bring it around bringing it around to the back here we go and foolproof design and it only goes in one way so then push it in there we go that's that's pretty easy um i mean not easy that's just how it works and now time for HD audio. Um, HD audio is located right around here. That there's front audio, HD audio, same thing right there. Okay, <laughs> bringing bring it all the way around up through here and connect it to the front audio header. Simple enough. And last but not least, the USB 3.0. It's blue. And in this case, USB 3.0 is actually way up here. So, where it says USB 3.0, now we just bring this around and uh, plug that in there there we go everything on the front is connected oh wait and now we have to do our SSD so find the SSD SATA cable that came with your motherboard and plug that in. So open it, open this up with your scissors. There we go. Take one of the cables and simply plug it in like this. Wiggle it in until it's connected. Put the, the whole thing back down and put the thumb screw back where it came from and then pull the cable out the back. And now for the other side of the SATA cable. Just just um plug it into the SATA Express place like so or something. That's good. And now, that is all for the front side of the case. I don't have a graphics card yet. I will be getting one soon though. So, let's move on to the back. Now, would you look at that? Just look at it. It's so messy. So that's why we have to organize everything. Okay, so I've spent some time 
managing the cables around here um i made sure that the i use these clips here there are actually four of them they're really helpful they have they even have zip tie tie down points which is also helpful they did include some zip ties so i used those i shoved all the rest of the cables in here underneath the power supply shroud and from the front they are not visible at all so that really helps i did not use these drive cable cages and the HDMI patch, so the HDMI cable would come out here. So how that would work would, is it would go out this way. There we go. So the HDMI cable just comes out through this little hole out there. So yes, yeah, so that's all the cable managing we had to do because nobody likes it wild and untamed out there, even if no one's going to see it. Sorry, I had to. Um, so that's pretty much it. Before we um turn, before we pack up. I mean, no. Before we put the side panels back on, let's see if it powers on. So to do that, we'll turn it around, and then we'll find the power cord somewhere yeah uh -huh. here's the power cord so then we unwrap the power cord like so we plug one end into the computer and the other end into a power place and then we put the on switch and then the power on switch. Let's go! First try! I'm so cool. No, I'm not. And it has LEDs. Let's go. The LEDs came on. I did it. This is all I have to do. This is how you do something. I'm so happy. Let's go! Okay. Um. Now let's... Hook this up to a monitor and install Windows 10. So now that we know it works, we can just put the side panels on, starting with the back, where we simply put this on like so. I'll be And then we used used the screws from earlier, the thumb screws, and we screw it back in. And now for the front side panel. Is it the front side panel or the side side panel or just the side panel or the front panel or it's kind of confusing. Oh. There we go. Okay, so I have my mic right here. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I did it. I actually did it. Okay, so this cable management puck thing, it just pops onto your case like that. And then say you have a really long wire, you can just wrap it around like that. But if it's really, really long, then you can make it wider and pull them apart and then wrap your cables around. And you can like put your VR headset on top and your 
headphones on top and stuff. It's really cool. Really like that they included it. So that's a thumbs up. Um, all in all, I give everything a thumbs up so far. Just time to install, go through U UEFI and install everything. So let's go. Okay, guys. So I am over here at this computer. I'm mean, at another computer that I was using. So simply, all I did is Google Microsoft um, Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. So then I went to the download Windows 10. So I went to this page from Microsoft, and then I clicked on the download tool now, and then it downloads a tool on your computer that will help you create a flash drive or a USB yeah, a USB flash drive or an ISO file that can be burned onto a disk or a flash drive. So, um, after I finish that, um, let's look at the computer. Okay, so here's the computer I have. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this, which is my, um, that's just for my keyboard and mouse. And this is the USB flash drive that was created. And I just plug both of them into the USB 3.0 slots because why not? And then I have already plugged it in. Each HDMI and power. So <clears throat> just power it on. And back over here at the monitor, I'm going to switch over to HDMI to one hour later. To the different startup screen. A few moments later. So now it opens straight up into Windows Setup. Um, so now this is where you just set up Windows, however you want to set up Windows, and um, you'll be set. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Um, here's my friend. He wanted to say hi, so... What's up? <laughs> okay, so um, that's pretty much it for this video. Like, like and subscribe. See you next time. Smash that like button. <laughs> Smash that like button. Now, would you look at that? Just look at it. It's so messy. So that's why we have to organize everything. Oh, no, not yet. Smash that like button.